Um, we will start with, uh, if I can find him, Paul Gilmore from Sky Sports News, please. Hi, Nuno. What pleased you most about today? Our fans. The way they support us when the team was in trouble, the way they start pushing, really pleased me. You ask about all the things. That was the one. From the game. And, and from yeah. the game as well, please, yeah. Yeah, for them, from the game, um, the organization, the organization, I think we kept all the game, the, the shape, the right triggers, the right moments to press much better on the second half when we recover higher um, on the pitch. Um, but please me is that when we cannot kill the game, we had chances to do so. We didn't lose our minds. We stick together um, and we were compact. We didn't allow too many chances to offer. That that was was good. The balance between these two aspects was, was good in the end, the way we managed the game. Um, something that I didn't like, I think we should be more clinical. I think we have enough quality and talented players to, to close the game. Thanks, Paul. Uh, we'll go to Alistair Gold, please. Congratulations, Nuno. Um, Thank you. Obviously, I know you're always looking for the team to improve, but could you even have imagined uh, when you first joined the club that three games in, going into the international break, you'd be top of the table with three from three? That doesn't mean anything at all. Doesn't mean anything, yeah, honestly. And I invite everybody, not only the players, but our fans to don't don't pay attention to that. Don't pay attention to that. Let's keep on working. We still have a long way and a lot of aspects to improve on. Can I ask you, obviously, one of the things mostly criticised about Spurs last season was the defence. They struggled. I mean, that must be a pleasing aspect for you, at least, though, is that no, no goals at all conceded in the Premier League so far. And, and as a unit, the team looks very defensively solid. Yeah, and that's the beginning of everything. Uh, I always said mm, the shape, the organization, being solid and compact because we have talent. We have talent. Um, being consistent is is what we are focused on, and we have to keep on going. Today, we did a good, a good. A good we control very well the deep. Uh, Watford was clearly trying to make us uh, go higher on our lines to to play on our back. We control the back four control very well. That. But at the same time, the second balls we need sooner to be to be anticipating that that part of the game. Something that we have to improve. But well done. We keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Now the players go. We'll stay. We we'll look. We we'll work we'll, with with the player that's gonna stay and try to make better for the next one. Thank you. Thanks, Ali. Uh, Matt Law, please. Hi, Nuno. Um, Hello. You just said about the, some players will stay and some players will go. Could I just ask you to clarify the situation on Christian Romero and Giovanni Lo Celso, whether they will go with Argentina or stay? Because obviously the Premier League have, have said about the players not going, but we know that Emi Martinez at Aston Villa and potentially Buendia are still going to go with Argentina. So that's um, it's a, it's a problem not that affects us but affects all the clubs and all the South American players playing in the Premier League. Um, we have uh, to obey to the government um, law. We'll try to do so, but at the same time, we don't have any kind of help from FIFA, from the, the government, from the Premier League on support the situations. We know what it means for all the players to play for national team. It's something they, they are very proud of. So what we are trying to do as a club is trying to anticipate um, the situations. So expecting that not only for the next international break, but it's going to be a couple more, things are solved. So we are more clear. Cannot listen to you, sorry. You're on, you're on mute, Matt. Sorry, just to follow that up. Um, I, I understand your answer. I just want to be clear. Do you, do you know if Los Celso and Romero want to go with their country? Have they asked to go to Argentina? The, you, I will ask you the same. Is there any player when he's called up for his national team that will say no? Yeah, there probably isn't, no. Yeah. Okay, 
Okay, uh, we'll go on to Matt Barlow, please. Hello, Nuno. Um, Hello. Can I follow up that point? Can you can you be clear? So, will they go? And how long for? And when will they be back if they are going? We are taking care of that situation, trying to anticipate the damage. We, us as a club, we 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 are working on that. Can you be more clear, please? Well, what we are trying to is anticipate when they return. So my answer is clear, isn't it? So they will have to serve a quarantine when they come back and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, what we are trying to create your... a plan. Sorry? I'm sorry. I, I, I just wondered how long they would be. We spoke to Thomas Tuchel yesterday and he said he thought if the Brazilian players went... They would miss three games in quarantine and perhaps two more because of the training that they will miss with you. Uh, do, do you feel the same? Yeah, I feel the same because all of, all of us as managers, we have this, this problem to try and solve. So we cannot stop it. What we try is to, to find the best way so the players, when they return, we can get them sooner. There are ways. And us as a club, we are trying to provide the support for our players to for for the situation. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Matt. Uh, time for one more. Jonathan Veal, please. I don't know. I was wondering whether you expected Musa Sissoko to play for Watford today. Yeah, Musa joined joined Watford. He played today. Um, we work together for for three weeks. I have huge respect for Musa. Huge. And I just want to wish wish him all the best at Watford in his life because he's a he's been a pleasure. I have big admiration for for Musa, a true gentleman. It's obviously quite strange for a player to play having joined so soon. Um, was was Musa part of any training this week in preparation for this game with, with you? No, this week was different. This week was different because of the of the Conference League game in midweek. So was different but there's no no issue at all that the moment that he joined Watford he became a Watford player so the decision of playing him was the manager of Watford we didn't interfere we cannot interfere with all that the only thing is clear huge respect and admiration for Musa thank you thanks thank you we'll leave it there thank you very much guys thank you